Hi, Kathy. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Oh, good. Good to talk to you again. What's what's going on today? Oh, as usual, I have a, a question for you, but um, I need to make 400 sets of these papers. Thank you. There's um, just three of them in there, but what I need to do is um, run them, collate them, staple them. So I, I'm really not sure how to staple. Well, let me show you how. I'm not going to run the 300 sets for you, but oh, I'll, yeah, show you how you. To make a, I'll show you how to make a set. <laughs> You're awesome. Uh, you put your documents in the document feeder, and then on your display screen, you'll want to touch the application called Finishing. After you select Finishing, you have a couple different options for your stapling. Uh, and you mentioned you wanted just in the upper left corner, I think? Yes, that is okay. correct. So you would choose corner staple, but did you know you have several other options available? You can uh, do a left corner, a lower corner, upper right corner, or you can actually do a two position staple where it will staple the documents twice in the left hand and left hand side, upper left and lower left. Okay or select the other options that are available here. But since you just want the corner, corner position, we'll select corner. And I'm only going to run one set okay, just to, to show you how that looks, Kathy. Perfect. And then hit your start button. It's like magic, isn't it? It works. And then those documents will come out and they'll be stapled for you. Perfect. Up Perfect. The upper left corner. Perfect. So, you know, I have all these to run. Is there anything I need to be thinking of so I don't call you back? Well, depending on how many staples you have, you could Oh, possibly, I have no idea. You could possibly run out. And there's mm -hmm. no way for the machine to tell you how many staples are left. <laughs> uh, but each cartridge, when it's new, it'll hold 5,000 staples in it. Wow. But when it runs out, it will tell you on the display that it, it needs to be replaced. Okay. And if you open up the finisher door, that's the unit on the left where it staples and collates. Oh, look. There's some illustrations on how to change the staples. Oh, good to know. Well, it, the stapler, if it was empty, it would pull the stapler unit all the way forward. Are you, so you're manually doing I that? I am now? manually pulling that forward so that you can see where that is. If it was empty, it would automatically be okay. here. And you reach in and you pull that blue lever and out come the staples. Obviously, this has plenty in it still. Good. But I good. do have one over here that happens to need staples and it's empty. Let me show you that one. Perfect. If you'll notice, on this one, it says up here in the top, if we were in copy mode. Ooh, replace staple cartridge. Yep, replace staple cartridge. Or if you want to see the same exact mode that that one is in over there, it still would say what replace staple do? cartridge. I took it from the basic mode, or from the uh, quick copy mode, which this one has. Okay. Not all of them have that option, but this one does, to the uh, quick copy Mode, and it still says replace the staple cartridge. Okay. So, and when it says that, you'll also have an orange light blinking on the left. Oh, see it, yeah. So, what you'll need to do is open the finisher, and this one already has the staple cartridge pulled forward automatically without having to do it manually. And if you pull that out, that's because it's empty. Because it's empty. The cartridge is empty. Okay. And what you would need to do then is Take this plastic cartridge out, you can throw it away, and you would put the new plastic cartridge into this case. The case you don't throw out. You do not lose that case. They're very expensive oh, and good to know. you don't want to lose them because you can just put the new cartridge of 5,000 staples into it and then insert it back into the machine. Close the door and when you do that, it will reinitialize the stapler unit, position it to the back of the machine, and allow it to be ready for the next time you need to make, make stapling uh, stapled copies. Perfect. So, and if you look there, it's already been moved back. Oh, we it didn't is. Do that. It went back by itself. All by itself. Awesome. So, and then you can select your staple options and continue your job. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome. Talk to you later. Thanks.